So some kind of uh, okay, you have one idea, and then you see other point that kind of contradicts, and you don't want to uh, to write a paragraph that will be like uh, like a raw material. You want to make a smooth transition and see how these two points and two thoughts contradict to each other. So you can see you can rely on this handout of handout, and you can see the list of these transitions and use the appropriate one to make your sentence stronger, sound stronger. Uh, causal, not casual. Some, some students, they kind of uh, they think casual, it's like, it's like, what does that mean? But you need to be like, uh, you need to pay attention, it's causal. So you <laughs> see the root cause, this is the root cause, reason. So this group refers uh, to the transitions. Uh, for example, like this, to make more, to make more sense, like uh, for the reason, uh, being that in view of the fact, uh, because, like the common one is because. So they give us reason to the next sentence. Uh, it's certainly referring to the previous one. See, uh, the, 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 first source, the first statement uh, explaining its development in the paragraph. Uh, the last group is uh, sequential. Uh, uh, this group, the last one, they show um, the signal chronological or logical sequence. They are divided into numer numerical, continuation, conclusion, digression, resumption, and summation. Mostly they are used to kind of um, to, see, to show you how your, uh, how your thoughts are uh, being chronologically uh, listed. For example, you can say like, uh, I did this, and then you want to see uh, what other actions followed the first statement. And you, you can use these transitions that in your handouts to make your paragraph, to make your essay uh, more coherent. And it's very important to note that transitions are very tightly connected to coherence. So the classes that we had and what we learned on co co coherence uh, it's very important to use transition to make your paragraph coherent because uh, transitions, it's like a core, it's like a heart of coherence point. So it's very important to have transitions in your mind. And now I want to give you just some examples of some subgroup, some subgroups of each group that I thought uh, like uh, accessible, uh, reliable, and uh, they're easy. So just to give you some example. Uh, so does anyone have desire to read the first examples, the first sentence? Mark, please. Uh, also, tutoring offers you your own learning experience. Please, can you tell me, where is this, where is the transition here in this sentence? Also? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, what, what's the meaning of also? Addition? Uh, exactly. It's also, it adds, it adds new thought, it's like addition. Uh, Addressative group. Who is, who is willing? Okay, for me, please. However, it is useful to know just <coughs> what an addition, addiction is. Yes, exactly. Can you tell me where is transition? However. However. Exactly. Uh, can you see that there are correlates to conflict? However. You're saying you're like proposing, proposing a different or proposing idea. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Uh, Causal, not casual, causal. <laughs> In order to win a game, we need to train hard. Exactly. Can you, please help me. Where is the transition? In order to. In order to, exactly. Can you, can you see the link between purpose and motive? So if, like if you want to win, you have to train. Exactly. It's a cause. That's right. So we cause see. and effect. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And this subgroup of this group, just to make it uh, more clear. And the last one, don't miss the chance. <laughs> the last one. <laughs> Who wants to read? Mavor, please. Sequential, which is summation, so you need to practice transition as frequently as possible. Yes, that's true. That's right. Can you, can you tell me where is the transition? Uh, No, uh, no, no, no. Uh, transition goes here. So. Oh, so. So, yes, you know, it's a, Maybe I was not paying attention. Yeah, you know, it's, <laughs> no. 
So summation is like we want to kind of generalize like our soul. So we use soul. And usually, you know, transitions usually they are placed at the at the beginning of sentence because I did. Because it, it, would, it, it would have t taken me a lot of space. I didn't use paragraphs. But usually when we have thought, main thought, and when we want to make a smooth transition, certainly and reasonably, we will begin with, a, as Granny said, with transition or with transitional phrase. So that is why usually they go at the beginning of the next sentence. Uh, so... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Are you <laughs> <the policy>? <laughs> <laughs> Is that also a transition? <laughs> 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 yes, I am transitioning. Uh, so now you see. Uh, do, do you recognize this paragraph? Who recognizes this paragraph? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can read it again. Uh, okay. Uh, but okay. Please. Eliminating com eliminating computer viruses on your computer is not very difficult. There are a few things you can do. First, turn on Windows Firewall. To do this, go to the control panel and click on Windows Firewall. When the window pops up, you should click on the button next to the turn fire on. Next, download a good antivirus program like Casper, Sky, Norton, Norton or Vans. Before you, run, before you run it, make sure you shut down all the programs and also disconnect from the in internet because some viruses can deliver daily, in deliver daily interfere with the antivirus prog programs by getting help from the internet. Now run a full scan with the program. When the scan is finished, follow the recommendations of the program to delete or quarantine any viruses it finds. Before, uh, but before you delete any files, back up your registry and make a restore point. This is important. For example, I once forgot to do to do this and delete an important file by accident, so I had to reinstall everything on my computer. If these steps don't work, consult with a professional computer clinician. Thank you very much, Monica. But, but before we get hands to Monica, uh, Monica, let me ask you, it wasn't like, you read it once again. You read this paragraph twice. First one and the second one. Please, can you tell me what do you feel and what did you notice was it easier for you the first time or the second time? I mean, of course, the second one um, makes more sense. The makes more time, sense. One point. Change the meaning. Um, I mean, in a lot of uh, sentences, for example, the last sentence. If these steps don't work, we didn't have that before in there, so it was like um, a sentence that didn't make any sense before you add that on. Exactly, Monica. And also, final point. Did you notice any changes in this paragraph? Any changes? Uh, yes. Many extra words. Yeah, so all those that are in red. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right, exactly. Those red words that you see in phrases, these are transitions. And this is what we're trying to tell you and teach you today. And this is the original. I know that you might have any like uh, uh, comments about any missing commas or like punctuation and so. But this is the original that we took. So we don't want to never change a quote. <laughs> right. so, the only so comments that I would just add into it is that I noticed that, um, so you deleted a few words as well. So for example, before you run it, so that was not in there before, the, you run it. Yeah, we, we, we just... Because uh, as far as I know, before is the only transition word in there. Yeah, but then, it, it, uh, as we said, we deal with only words or in cases that it's a phrase. So that uh, so that's that's uh, the situation. So it, uh, in this case, like you have like when the scan is finished, and then you have but before you delete any files because it follows the, the previous sentence. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so we can. Continue. Yeah, and now I'd like uh, 